This is John Ward, welcoming you to another presentation of Tennessee football on home video. The story you're about to see unfold is one of adventure and achievement. It's the story of teamwork, commitment, and the will to win. Welcome back to the Blue Chip Breakdown, Vols fans. I'm your host, Bull, and today's video is going to be on Jordan Burns, 6'2", 215-pound linebacker out of Pace Academy in ATL, Georgia, and he is a four-star on 24-7 Sports Composite. His film looks great, really fits into the mold of the linebackers that we got in last year. I think it's going to fit in well with this team. Uh, so he chose us over Vanderbilt and Arkansas. He just came on his visit to Tennessee on June the 16th. Obviously loved it. So another huge pickup for Josh Heupel and his staff. Let's go ahead and jump straight into the video. All right, so we got him right here up top coming off of the edge. Great burst, great speed, beautiful tackle. Definitely brings the thump whenever he makes contact. Something that I love about his film. Coming off the edge here again, we're going to consistently see him coming off of the edge. You see his tracking speed, able to pursue the ball from the backside. And uh, he forced a fumble right there as well. Here playing on the outside, you see him in some open space, playing in coverage. Beautiful job of finding that football and then exploding towards the end zone, making some, making some plays happen. Right here, see him right there and pursue from the backside, huge hit, huge hit. He's a great, great thumper, um, you know, and he has excellent form when he tackles as well. Here we got him playing running back and he's the lead blocker. That's one pancake, jumps over him, excellent athlete too. I mean, he's just manhandling kids and that also shows the type of passion that he has. He's a really, really passionate player, love it. Here, this is a beautiful job of getting skinny through this gap, penetrating, exploding through it, watch this. Quick, gets there fast. Again, makes the tackle from the backside. Very sure tackler. Brings both of both of his arms. Wraps up. Beautiful work. Comes off the edge again here. Now watch what he does right here. We're going to see this again. It's going to come off the edge. First things first, he's the first. Look at how much he's beating everybody else off of the football. Almost beats the running back to the handoff. Here he gets low. And this guard that's uh, supposed to be coming over to block him gives him nothing but his back. And in one fluid motion, makes an excellent tackle, beautiful form. You can tell he's very well coached, very well trained. Look at this angle here. This is ridiculous. I mean, that was a beautiful angle. That's exactly what you want to see out of your backers. He's going to be a stud. I can't wait to get him up on campus. Here, he's playing running back again. This is a screenplay. You see he's got good hands. Again, he's an excellent athlete. Good burst. His stop and start is really, really nice. Love that, you know, those are excellent skills when you're playing in the front seven on the opposite side of the football as well. And here, good job reading his blocks, falls forward. You can tell he runs like a freight train. He's just a really physical player. So fits in line with the linebackers that we got in last year and the type of linebackers that we like here. You see him running right through a block, running through another one and continue to pursue to make a sack. Backside pursuit here, another excellent angle. Great job on a wrap and roll tackle. Like I said, he's very well coached. You can tell he's also really, really disciplined. This is a great job of maintaining that edge and setting it and then spinning off and making a sack. I think that he would be a great pass rusher. Now he's not the biggest guy, but he's got great pass rush skills. So as a blitzing linebacker, I think he's gonna wreak a lot of havoc. So I think that's the primary reason that, uh, that we got him. Now, this is a really nice job here. This is just going back to him being very well coached and understanding football. This is potentially a read option play. Um, or, you know, at least it looks like it to him. So first off, he sees that the quarterback does not have the football, but look at the way that he stopped. He was in perfect position to be able to make that play. Now he pursues here, and this is a good job by the rest of the defense on the left side of this running back, setting up that wall. He continues to pursue, and his, his high effort and his high motor pays off for him. He's able to make a big-time play in the backfield for a loss. Now here he was at running back again. You know, you see, he's not afraid to mix it up. He's not afraid to go up top and get physical. Coming off the edge. This is a great job right here of setting this edge. We're going to we're gonna play this back. 
Now watch what he does here. So this sniffer is gonna come and pick him up right here. Now watch this, boom. He is protecting this gap. He's able to keep that sniffer at bay with his left arm. Does an excellent job of making this running back have to try to bounce it out. Now look at the way that he transitions, flips his hips quick and just goes straight through that block. Makes a big sack, or I'm sorry, makes a big tackle and it's a safety. So definitely a guy who we'll see making a lot of plays. Love that about his film as well. Here again, you see the burst, see the vision. He's just a football player. You know, that's just, that's that's what you call that. Offense, defense, special teams, he's just a football player. So right here, great pursuit. You know, he's got really, really good straight line speed. Does a good job again with his stopping and starting. And, um, you know, I don't know what his 40 time is, but you can tell that he's one of those football players that his 40 time may not be great, but, uh, you know, his on the field speed is definitely excellent. He has great football speed. He plays with great pace, beautiful leverage. Good job right there. Pushing his hips forward and making a good tackle. Looks like he's blitzing here. Pursuit, pursuit, pursuit. Makes a lot of tackles from that backside. Could probably see him being kind of a, probably more of a weak side backer. He's definitely an outside backer uh, in my opinion but he fights through blocks well. You know, he sets edges very, very well. And then <laughs> right there, I mean, just blows that guy up on kickoff, goes right through the block, makes a great tackle. Coming off the edge again, pursuit, excellent angles, excellent tackling. Common theme, beautiful work. Right here, you see him in the open field. I love to see players find the football and then explode to it and make a good, hard tackle. He does a lot of that. Film kind of puts me in the mind of Jalen Smith, just to taste. And some of it too, especially when you see him running this football, kind of looks like Jeremy Banks uh, when he was in, in high school as well. But I think he's going to be a lot better of a linebacker than Jeremy Banks was. But he's very similar as far as that mode of finding the football, playing physical, you know, playing with that dog, playing with that chip on his shoulder. And, you know, we're just like, look at that. <laughs> that kid tried to kind of fight him and he just pushed him straight away. Quick off the edge, bends very, very well. I love to see him bend. I think he's actually, I mean, you know, if we use him like this, he could get a lot of sacks for us. If we use him as a blitzing linebacker coming off of that edge, I think he would produce a lot of sacks. This right here is a beautiful job. Now watch this. This is something that I might would rather see him go a little bit more to the outside of this block, but he kind of gets flush, goes straight through the, blocker's chest and he's able to make the tackle with his other arm while he's still getting held he's just a very explosive player he he explodes through contact beautifully and i think that that's going to translate really well like look at that speed right there sets the edge gets off the block makes a play sees the football goes after it quick you know he's definitely definitely going to be a playmaker for us in the next few years got him at run back again here Kind of a goal line situation and, um, you know, just uses his, uses his speed, great burst. Here again, you know, you constantly seen him pursuing from the backside, making big hits. So that's something that's always, always really big. You wanna have players that can set that edge and then you need players to come from the backside to be able to clean it up. And you see him right here, falling forward, you know, just an absolute dog. I love that film. Um, let's go ahead and get into his grades. All right, so first thing is first, Jordan as an athlete shows pretty good straight line speed. Like I said, his 40 time probably isn't the best, but as far as football speed, the way that he uses his angles, he's playing like a 4-4-esque player, shows good hands, great burst off of the football, great burst in and out of his breaks, stop and start is good. You know, he shows that he's able to pursue and track the offensive players very well on top of that. I'm going to give him four stars right here as an athlete. All right, so toughness and physicality. We see him showing toughness, running through blocks, making blocks on special teams as well, you know, making tackles. He is a very physical player. You see him lunging forward and getting that extra hit, getting those extra yards, not afraid of contact by any means. Also plays with that dog that we absolutely love. I'm going to give him five stars right here on toughness and physicality. Now for pass coverage, we don't get to see him in pass coverage a lot. We only saw like one clip of him and it looked like he was playing zone there. 
looked pretty good in coverage. Obviously, he was able to come up with that pick. Again, we had to pretty much go off of the type of an athlete that he is and the type of a football player that he is. This is something that he's going to be able to pick up well because he didn't do a lot of it in high school. So for that reason, I'm going to give him three stars right now because we can't really tell exactly what his pass coverage skills will turn out to be. But I definitely think that he has all of the tools to be able to play in the current system that Tennessee has. And now for his run stopping grade, we see him do an excellent job of fighting through gaps, getting skinny, fighting off blocks, maintaining his leverage for the most part. Very sure tackler. Uh, he pursues very, very well, takes beautiful angles. I'm going to give him four stars right here as a run stop. Okay, now it's time for Jordan's blue chip overall grade. And just to recap, we gave him four stars as an athlete, five stars on toughness and physicality, three stars in pass coverage, and four stars as a run stopper. So that brings his overall blue chip grade to four stars, which is what he is rated on 24-7 sports. Looks like he's going to be a very solid player for us moving forward. Like I said, he definitely fits into the mold of the linebackers that we have been bringing onto the team currently. Great athlete, good size, hard nose, just a straight up dog and passionate about the game of football. So super happy to be picking up Mr. Jordan Burns. Thank y'all as always for tuning into this video. I know it's been a while, but we are working on several things and we're about to be flooding y'all with content coming out here in the next few weeks. So stay tuned for that. Please make sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll see y'all on the next one. Thanks. Peace.